Timber is in high demand and it's little wonder because it is used in a, such a large variety of products from flooring in the home to building jetties like this one. We are on the New South Wales north coast at Coffs Harbour and in this part of the world there are two different but complementary streams we use to help meet that demand. The north coast of New South Wales has long had the reputation as one of Australia's best timber production regions. And while the industry had its origins in native forest, plantation forestry has also flourished in more recent times. For the state's largest forest manager, both production streams have a vital role to play. Forestry Corporation has both plantations and native forests because they really complement each other. The plantations supply large volumes, of high quality timber. Our native forests also supply a larger volume of, of timber overall, but over a much larger area and produce a range of products that our plantations can't produce. Timber source from native forest is a strong, stable, durable, high value product that typically takes much longer to grow. Harvest rotations in native forests can stretch out to 100 years or more. Harvesting methods are also vastly different. Most of our native forest operations are highly selective, so we only select a limited number of trees and after the operation, there is a high level of canopy cover left. I think it serves Forestry Corporation really well. It generally matches up well with the requirements of our native forest to grow good quality timber, plus provide a range of other community values, um, recreation, water quality. This gentle approach allows the state's limited number of production forests to provide the highly valued native timber we need, while at the same time protecting the environmental, social and cultural values of the forest. The plantation cycle is more of a numbers game, generating the largest volumes of timber in the shortest time frame possible. It's big numbers in the plantation game. This nursery in Grafton alone produces around one million trees a year, Nick. But what you might not be aware is how intensely managed each and every one of those trees is. Massive scale, but minute detail. Mm. These are machine sewn, but then they go on to be hand tubed, hand graded, and ultimately hand planted. Well, we grow about five different species of hardwood for the plantations. We grow three different species of pine for plantations and we also grow private orders, and um, which is over 200 species of native species. The Forestry Corporation of New South Wales invests in both softwood and hardwood plantations. The strongest and straightest trees are used as seed stock and the seedlings are carefully nurtured, watered and fertilised for around seven months before they're finally graded. You're going to grade or pop? I'm going to grade. They grade. look nice okay. enough to grade. All right, sounds good. That one, is that a big green? We reckon he's all right. Oh, he's all right, good, that good one. Roots. Good roots, yep. Okay. I don't know, they're nice trees. They are. Beautiful. But each tray comes up um, to be assessed. Anything that's it's too thin or is too small or looks weak is taken out and each each of those are replaced with a tree that is you know, strong, healthy, disease free and ready to go into the ground. Another very hands on part of the plantation process, Nick, is planting itself. Uh, a good planter mm -hmm. can plant two and a half thousand of those little trees a day. What about yourself? Six. Six a day. Interestingly enough, if you come back to this spot in about five years time, this tree and all the others around it will be about 10 metres tall. If you have a look at the back, these ones, this is a plantation which is 40 years old and coming up for harvest. It's a bit like any other rotational crop like corn or wheat or blueberries. It just takes a little bit longer. In most plantations, 30 to 40 years is the number, and like most crops, much care and attention is required early on. The first two years are very intense. Um, there's a lot of operations that go on and a lot of people power that's used. Beyond that point, the, the, the inputs into the stand are, are a lot less. 
we may carry out operations like here at uh, non-commercial thinning. That doesn't necessarily get carried out everywhere. The New South Wales State Forest Plantation Estate covers around a quarter of a million hectares and produces both soft and hardwood products for everyday use. I'm an absolute believer in timber plantations. It um, beats any other land use hands down in anyone's book. Um, compare it to any other land use. This is sustainable land management. This is how you get timber products uh, forever if, it's, you know, if it continues to be managed correctly. The state's highest value timber products, however, are sourced from native forests, and to grow those products in a plantation setting would require a large-scale conversion of farmland to timber plantation, not to mention 50 to 80 years lead time. I'm extremely confident that the work that we do um, in both our plantations and native forests is, is really sustainable, and we're producing a product which people love and providing a lot of a range of environmental values and services to the community at the same time. New South Wales is one of Australia's largest timber producers and relies on both native forests and plantation sources. These two production streams are complementary as each delivers different product types. Native forest timber is high value, slow grown, stable and durable, while plantation timber is grown for high volumes on shorter rotations. Harvesting procedures are different also, with native timber selectively taken over long cycles. Plantations are more intensively managed over shorter periods of 30 to 40 years to maximise yields. To find out more, visit www.forestrycorporation.com.au.